Hey guys, if you're after a really technical explanation of how a supercar works, you've come to the wrong place. If you want a basic understanding, then let's run through it. So, a race car, what it relies on, any road car, race car, it relies on a spring to keep the car off the ground. Without the springs, the car would just sit on the ground. So the spring is obviously very important. Um, Oh, underneath this spring is a shock absorber. Now the shock absorber, the only role of a shock absorber is to stop the car from bouncing down the road. I don't know if any of you have driven a car without a shock absorber, but it just gets out of control and the car just bounces around and it's all over the place. So shock absorber controls the ride, spring keeps the car in the air. The third element is the roll bars. Now without roll bars, you've got the whole mass of the car which includes me, bolted to the, to, to the chassis, the engine's bolted to the chassis. If you go around a corner, the car will just roll over and effectively, in a racing form, it'll actually lose grip. So what we have is what we call anti-roll bars. So this bar here is bolted to the chassis and then these blades are bolted to each wheel of the, of, of the front or the rear and it controls the roll. So how does it control the roll? We've got two blades on the outside of the bar uh, and I've got some levers inside the car. Now the easiest way to explain it is we've got full soft, so if the blade's that way, that means it's full soft, so it's got plenty of, uh, plenty of roll. And then I've got 12 positions to full stiff. That's full stiff, it won't, it won't bend at all. So that's effectively what we're doing inside the car, like going from full stiff to full soft. Why do we want to do that? If the grip level is really high, and you put new tyres on, the car wants to roll a lot because it grips. So therefore you stiffen, you stiffen that roll bar up to keep it nice and stable. Um, with a big heavy fuel load in the car, once again, more weight, more grip, the car wants to roll a lot. So once again, you'll stiffen it up. As the fuel load comes off and as the tyres wear out, we start to soften that roll bar off to, to, uh, to keep the same roll number. So that is a basic understanding of how a spring shock absorber and roll bars work on a race car. So the roll bar adjustments we've got inside the cockpit are front, front anti-roll bar and rear anti-roll bar. Um, we, I made this one red red rear that's the only way i remember it <laughs> so don't do the wrong one of course we've got all this information on the dash as well so it'll it'll tell you if you go the wrong way but uh forward is full stiff and then bring the roll bar back is full soft and then you've got 12 positions in between full stiff and full soft push the button at the top release it and it will lock into position